It's amazing what the difference a day makes. Just yesterday, everything was still in the piles, and we had our walkabout auction. Everybody came in, worked like crazy. We finished setting up the hall. Still some more work to do, but just, just take a look. So I'm going to go through and do a quick view and talk about some of the things that we've got coming and how cool this sale is turning out to be. I mean, we started out with just everybody unloading everything on Monday out of the truck. Now, I'm still doing the doing the gold and we're still doing the coins but look at this beautiful sapphire white gold with diamonds and sapphire bracelet just amazing nice little diamond rings probably a quarter carat well probably almost half a carat in there mixed in with beautiful work these are all 14 karat gold charms all through here lots of stuff that we're going to put together in groups and then we have this silver I mean it's hard to look at it this way but we'll be putting together this whole group together and these are all sterling charms and um, sterling necklaces and we'll show you how we set all that but first I want to show you this table look at this Stevens table set up all the poly on there just in excellent condition cool thing there then over here um, this is your ship's wheel table wonderful wonderful steamer trunk there now today's sale has the one that's coming on Sunday the antique festival is very themed over in that corner over there I'll show you that real quick is our nautical area then I have a cowboy Indian area then I have an oriental area and I have um, an area where we have golfing things and then the country store items and we go from there now I'm going to zoom you back slow down here we go going into the jewelry and what we've done is there's so much of this wonderful jewelry that we put together groups like necklace earrings ring necklace earring ring abalone garnets moonstones lots of amber beautiful sets of amber turquoise uh, coming back down here look at some more beautiful amber a lot of these custom pieces mother of pearl and we're going to do lots of them in groups times the money so you buy a group of a necklace earring rings three groups of them times the money so it's just really nifty uh, nifty stuff beautiful that was a beautiful turquoise ring in there I'm gonna come up look at the amber on that one like zoom is it getting blurry oh straighten up there we go there we go gonna zoom back Whew. okay up we come here and more jewelry down in here nice desk there's some beautiful coral great charm bracelet right there um, so again we're going to put a lot of these in groups and together some nice little smalls up and through here and we're still setting the showcase a lot of coin silver in here now the fishing stuff this is where all the guys go crazy because there are some beautiful tackle boxes chocked full with all kinds of stuff oops that's not one of them there's all these pieces through here a lot of these are wonderful they had the guy had tags on them and they identify them 90 75 100 125 dollars we're just putting them all in groups and piles and selling them some water for crystals some sterling some other things in there zoom this way there we go they've got them all pulled apart so you can take a look at them and there's pictures and we'll be selling all these in groups and piles and I'll, oh, I'm gonna spin around hold on because we're gonna look at the lures of the, of the uh, fishing reels this box full of them. These look like old bake light handles on there. Who knows? There you go. Some more down in here. Some cool boxes. Okay, we're gonna walk back this way. You guys have got the compressors going. Everybody's working so hard. Had a nice auction last night, even in the middle of that crazy storm. Now this is really cool. There are several of these. This, these are are um, put together themed lamps where he took pieces and parts as a fishing creel and the things and it's a lamp. Isn't that fun? There's some more fishing reels on the display. Nice little sloop here. More of the, the ship's wheels lamps. Lots of duck decoys. Here's the other one. Gator bait bucket gone fishing. Nice oil on board, oil on canvases. Um, nice mix of art, some nautical things, some great seashells. Again, there's some lamps here. And look at this giant pulley. Holy bigness. Got some craft, got some folk art things here. Look at these wonderful folk art fishing um, duck decoys, folk art scrap art tables. There's one, two, three pieces there. That's bright and colorful. Okay. Original artwork by George Holman. He's a popular artist in Austin, Texas. There's another wonderful thing. 
pictures. There we go. I love this one. Look at the colors, the bright reds and oranges. And that's, again, signed, listed artist. There's some decorative pieces here. Great little oak serpentine front cabinet. Another pair of these lamps that are kind of themed, put together. They're very cool. There's some etched glassware. These are Rosenthal, I think. These are wonderful animals etched right on the front of them. Great long glass piece here. Coming around to the Cowboys and Indians. Check it out. There's a velvet painting. Yeah, I remember those things were always on the side of the road. Now they've actually become popular and collectible. There's some oil lamps, some Indian items, some carved um, horns. There's some really neat Indian um, rocks where they have the grinders and chuck edges. There we go. But that sounded dingy, didn't it? Some pottery. Back up. There you go. There is a buffalo lamp. There's some painted skulls. And this is the cutest thing. Look at this little rocker. That's a little child's rocker with a cowboy and the horses. Just too cute. Nice little tufted leather chair on um, chair. Some wild uh, walking sticks, some of them painted and decorated. These are some great oils on canvases again. Some of them were signed and listed artists. Come take them out. This is a Frank, uh, Battle of Franklin. Had the certified uh, lithograph. Nice rolled arm, Victorian sofa. Now the cherry furniture, check out this chair. It's all from North Carolina. It is contemporary, but it's in such good shape and it's cherry and we know that that blends in really well with antiques. So that's why we're selling them at this sale. You got your two end tables and a coffee table. I'm going to back up a little bit. The coffee table's right there. And there's another roll around cart that goes with it. And here's another listed artist. I just love the colors in this one. We'll come in really close. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Let's see who they got for the artist. Texas artist David Forks. There you go. There's a nice, again, nautical theme. Watercolors up through here. Some bells, some Royal Dalton, some pieces. Nice little corner cabinet. Again, contemporary, but fits really well with any kind of an antique thing. Nice little spindle back chair. Got some tall painted um, furniture here. And now those are wonderful oriental kimonos. These are Hitchcock's. One, two, three, four signed Hitchcock chairs. Nice little china cabinet. 19... Um, 40s kind of thing. Lots of china. Screens. Duncan 5 stuff. And it's got leaves in it. They got back. I'm going to back up. Got your custard set. Excuse the boxes on the pieces. We're still getting the last of the things put together. East Lake table. Pier Contemporary. Again, uh, high back rose carved tufted armchairs. Fits really well. Another pair. It's two more cherry side tables. They don't match the pair, so we'll be selling them individually. Wonderful pair of matched lamps. Lots of etched china. Look at this. Now, well, this is a ladies' tea room china closet. Isn't it cool? It's got some great height. Um, reach right up to the top. And this is, I can barely tiptoe and get to the top of this piece, but it's beautiful. Comes apart for easy moving. Lots of china cabinets. And um, look at this great little quilt rack. Again, another contemporary piece, marble top, but still in good shape. Goes and goes really well with just about anything you want to set up. We're going to come around a little bit. So we've been through the sea and the Cowboys and Indians. Here's a great little corner piece. All kinds of inlaid wood in there. I love this egret. Lots of people have been looking for this bird here through here. And then another tall piece. This is a tall chest on chest. Great great piece. Got a couple little things but in good shape. Nice little and then you got this, look at this, it looks almost like a, uh, a bird's eye piece. And through here. These are bronze. These are early Murano. Those are beautiful. Come back around. And then on this side, we're going over this way. Got a couple of brass beds and an oak bed hiding back here. We've got a small twin. You got a full size. And then I think it might be a full on the oak underneath all carved. So there's three bed frames that we're going to be selling. Okay, spinning around again. We're going to walk back through this way. Got a little sewing corner going here. Got your Martha Washington sewing cabinet. Nice little tuft. They got some records. You never know what you're going to find. Uh, one, two, three, four sewing machines. Good gosh. Some days we just get a quantity of all sorts of things. But they're beautiful in their work on the inside. They're all painted really well. Um, so you can see those. I'm going to come back through here. 
Nice table and chairs, lots of carved wood in there. Nice collection somebody had been collecting for years and years and years. And these are mostly um, police patches, so groups of five are going to be selling those. And then some of them are foreign policemen and some are um, advertising pieces. So large collection for a long time of collecting and then there's they actually have some banners too some old Florida banners and that sort of stuff and then here's some carved African mask there's some lusterware Czechoslovakian canisters this is what they call a livery cabinet and they just this beautiful carving look at I'm gonna kick you in close to see. look at that face amazing with the carved legs just a focus piece if you walk into the house it's just wonderful two of these overstuffed armchairs Nice fabric. It's in good shape. Again, some more of those banners. But look at the carving on this chair. Just amazing. Carving, carving, carving everywhere you see. I'm coming around this way. Got a whole bunch of the Lennox um, spice cabinets. And then these are all the canisters. Flour, cookie, rice tea. But look at this cabinet that this one is in. Now these, I mean, years ago, I could look at one of these and put it in my antique store and get $5,000 for it, not even blink an eye. But you know, things are a little bit different now. But I have, even when it was there, I have never seen one that had such incredible woodwork on it. Look at the markings on this piece. Beautiful, nice carving in the front. Open it up. It's got the drop front on the inside. Lots of cool stuff. Okay, here's a series of one, two, three, four, five watercolors. That'll give you five of those watercolors. Um, it just makes for a nice wall, give you that nice serene feeling. You can go down and maybe it's, it almost looks Spanish with the bell tile roofs. Coming down, sweet little desk. Look at this little Italian inlaid, beautiful little desk. Just close that up. There you go. Curved front. Got a couple drawers, really good shape. Lockerberger bathrooms galore. Got a bunch of them. So we'll sell some this week and next week. I got some now. We're going to sell them in groups. This one has the pie rack inside of it. So you look and check that out. Nice little sideboard. Again, a lot of burling in the front. That faux painting. Beautiful carpet. Look at how deep blue this is. I mean, just a beautiful carpet. And we got a couple of them. Okay, coming around. Now, next little golfing area. Here's one of those fantasy lamps again, all set up. Get your theme with the white birch. Reminds me of home. A couple of bags of early golf clubs. Another big, beautiful piece of marble top furniture. Got the swing heart mirror in there. Got the two bonnet ba um, drawers up here at the top. Just beautiful woodwork again. Look at that a nice marble top and then some fantasy pieces those are kind of cool backing up backing up because we're going to go right around and jump right into the country store here we go now these i don't know if i can show you these there's three of these and although they look in pretty rough shape i think they may be wonderfully early it's got some great toll painting on the front of them there's three of them all three of them are a little bit different in their styles but just i you know it might be one of those secret things that you just have to have somebody that knows and can fix them and work with them. A lot of kids, rocket chairs, <coughs> bring the, <coughs> excuse me, grandbabies in. Enamel top country table. And these are the, the 3D where they cut, it, cut out the, like the birds and all the foliage and everything. There are two of those they set back. Now this, look at this back pantry cabinet. This is huge. Um, it's an architectural piece. It was removed from a plantation in New Orleans. Um, it's been stripped down and it looks like it had some work done to it, but just an incredible cabinet. You can just pile the stuff in there like you wouldn't believe. Lots of room. You can set it up on top. Got some more Loggenberger baskets, more of the oil lamps. I'm going to back up. Got a pair of stamp back chairs with the cane seats. There's the Putnam dies. Somebody took a sewing machine base and turned it into a nice little table. There we go. And now we're going to move into... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Stop. I'll show you. This is the coolest Longa Burger rack I've ever seen. It's the rack. It's set up. It's got the liners. It's got the plastic liners. It's got the tops. Just very cool. I think that needs to go in somebody's house like these. Look down there. Got the big laundry basket. And then all three, latch, they all match up through. So we're going to be selling those. Back into the railroad section, Pennsylvania, New York, short lines. This has got the baby bonnet tops. Can I see there? There we go. That's very cool. And this can be your friend. You can take that traveling wherever you go. Stained glass windows. 
Railroad signal lamp, Union Pacific trains, lots of conductor hats, passenger agents, train man, conductor, very cool. Am I blurry? Here we go, I'm going to back up slowly. Got some country store stuff. Nice little cabinet again. And this, this is cool. This is the Banana Trading Company from Tampa, Florida. It is one of those wooden crates somebody's shellacked on it. It's got some carrying case. Oh, potty chair. Lift that stool top up and do what you got to do. Here we go. Green and white country paintings. Here's some more railroad stuff. West Point Road. Great. These two pieces right here are wonderful litho paints. Um, got some really neat lanterns and signal lamps and just a nice mix of all sorts of stuff. Really from the Tennessean framed print. Again, lots more of the um, seaboard lines, the metal ones that we got there. Some enamel pieces, some oil cans coming back through. I'm going to back up a little bit, show you some of these. Whee! Alright, and this little chair, check this little chair out. This is, this chair is a child's recliner. And it, it slides back, look at that, glides back through, and it's really a cool piece. Kids, cha um, school desk, some nice pieces. This is a domino, Puerto Rican domino table. And then this is a project. Oh gracious me, if anybody wants a project, this is a covering. It's all the pieces and parts. It's got the doors. Look at the brass plates in the front of this. Isn't that cool? Project for you. Oh, there's a couple of listed artists. Again, some more art that's coming back through this way. This is the doors that go with that piece. And then I think that's it. Then I'm going to do a quick spin around again. See how the hall just fills and cleans up and tightens up. And we couldn't do that at all if we didn't have such wonderful people working for us every single day. And I didn't tell you about the coins. Lots of coins. They're going through and sorting everything from proof of mint sets to silver coins to gold coins. So there's a little bit of everything. So don't, don't, just because I didn't show it to you in the video doesn't mean it's not there. We always try to get the last. And then we're going to start working on the catalog right now. And hopefully by tomorrow, late afternoon, early evening, um, We'll have the catalog up with the photos so you can take a look at it. Print it out. Come to the sale. Preview starts at 10. The auction starts at 1. We shall see you then.